Hello traders, welcome to the advanced MT4 course and the second module platform tools. In this lesson, we're going to teach you all about price alerts, how to create your price alerts on uh, the MT4 platform and why it is important to use them on your trading sessions. And uh, the most important thing about price alerts is that they allow you to um, monitor various currency pairs or commodities without having your uh, without having the charts in front of you let's say that you are waiting for the uh, I don't know the new the uh, non-farm payrolls announcement and uh, if you are waiting for the non-farm payrolls uh, you are monitoring anything US dollar it means that you have uh, the euro dollar the Aussie dollar the dollar Japanese yen and maybe the NCD USD charts in front of you but uh, let's imagine that uh, uh, you have worked technically on the Euro GBP pa uh, the Euro GBP uh, chart. You use alerts so that that when price hits a certain technical level that you are waiting, the MT4 platform will give you a heads up, and you can open your chart and uh, enter the trade if that is what you were thinking to do. When price hit those levels, but let's go to the MT4 platform uh, so you can better understand uh, what we're talking about here. Okay, so uh, you can see that uh, we have four, uh, six charts in front of us, and uh, it really doesn't matter which charts we are going to use for this demonstration because we are only going to talk about price alerts. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is open your terminal. And to open your terminal, you go to this uh, little icon right here that says terminal and you click on it. As you can see, we are already have uh, selected the uh, alerts tab. And uh, as you can see, we don't have any alerts on it. Okay, so now that I have uh, demonstrated you how to open the terminal, we are going to choose a price level that we want to set an alarm on. Okay. So we go to the GBP US dollar and uh, uh, you can see that the GBP USD has hit this previous area of uh, resistance and uh, right now is at this low right here. But uh, price action looks like it wants to go lower. So uh, we want to be uh, alerted when, when or if price uh, breaks this low and hits this low right here. So we are going to set an alarm at uh, at this level right here, which is uh, 64.74, okay? So we have chosen the 1.6474 level for uh, the MT4 to alert us when price hits it, or if price hits it. So we go to the terminal and we go to the alert tab right here. The first thing you need to do is to right click on the white space and to click on create. Then you, you have to choose uh, the asset that you want to be alerted on. And in this case, it is the GBP USD. And of course, we want to be alerted by sound, which means that when price hits the level that we agreed on, uh, the MT4 is going to make a sound. And of course, uh, when it makes the sound, we go to the alerts tab and we can see which alert has been triggered. So, um, Let's uh, review the um, uh, the level that we agreed on. It is 60, 64.74. So uh, on the GBP USD, we go to a value of 1.6474. Okay, and uh, you want to be uh, alerted when it hits the bid. And uh, because we are trading, we are uh, analyzing price action on the. Um, on the daily time frame, and uh, because uh, this is an overall level, it's not a level that we are going to be using only today. Uh, uh, we are not going to use an expiration date, and uh, the maximum number of iterations. Uh, I always leave it at one thousand, and uh, it really doesn't matter because when uh, uh, the alarm gets triggered, you will go to the alert, uh, to the alert tab, and uh, you will close it. Uh, because uh, you will actually go to your charts and see if you are going to be trading this level. And uh, a timeout of 10 seconds is fine. It means that it will uh, each iteration will 
be triggered or, or each uh, iteration will sound after 10 seconds and um, thus we are not going to be able to miss it so that's it you click OK and as you can see right here when the GBP USD hits uh, 6740 it's going to alert us and uh, it's going to alert us until uh, we actually notice uh, the alarm and as you can see here we have the alert level right here at the side of the chart and uh, if you want to draw a horizontal line to it you can see that it is in fact the level that we chose to the pip so when price hits this level it's going to alert us and because we don't have any gbp usd trades on right now what we can do is uh, we can actually just um, choose to analyze any other uh, uh, any other chart and um, the mt4 platform is going to alert us when price hits it even though uh, even if we don't have the chart in front of us okay so i have logged in into my account and as you can see uh, if we go to uh, the GBP USD chart right now, uh, price has already hit the levels that uh, we were actually wanted to be alerted on. And uh, as you can see right here, uh, the alert is working and we have been noticed five times already. Five times already that uh this level has been hit and um what you do when uh, you have been noticed and uh, as you can see here we broke with this level and uh we could have been we could we could had uh have shorted this level right here when the alert sounded but uh, uh this is just a demonstration and what we're going to do right now is we're going to delete the alert and this is how you actually delete the alert once you have notification of uh, the level or notification that price has hit the level that you were looking for now uh i want you to sh uh, well i want to show you that uh, these alerts are not only uh, important for the overall levels or the daily levels but they can also be uh, used uh, on a uh, daily basis or intraday basis just let's imagine that uh, we want to trade the uh, US dollar Swiss franc or we are trading the US dollar Swiss franc and this is the 50 minute chart okay and uh, 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 and, and let's assume that we are going to start our trading session right here okay so uh, this price action does not exist yet okay we are right here and uh, what we're going to do is we are going to create an alert right here at this level which is uh, previous support and now resistance remember that price is right here right now and uh, it looks like it wants to go up so we are going to create an alert that uh, will sound or will be triggered when price hits this high right here this will mean that we need to go to our us dollar swiss franc and see if this level of uh, of resistance and previous support is going to hold or if this level is going to be broken in any case we are going to trade off this level uh, and uh, uh, by using the alert on an intraday basis uh, we are not going to forget or miss the trading opportunity we are also going to place a pre uh, or place an alert at this level which is previous support because we don't know if price is going to go up or if it's going to go down it looks like price is going to go up or but uh, remember that uh, we are not wizards here so we need to protect ourselves and we don't want to miss any more opportunities so we are going to also to create an alarm an alert at this level right here so we we uh, we already know that we are going to be alerted uh, if price goes up and hits a, a, a resistance level or if it goes down and it hits an important support level so what we do is we go uh, well you need to first uh, see the levels and this is the uh, zero 
0.9558 and on the downside it's uh, 0 0.9504 and what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm, uh, I'm writing down these levels on my notepad uh, so I don't forget them you go to terminal you create an alarm and of course it's the dollar Swiss franc and uh, if we go up Uh, we want uh, the level 0 0.9558 and we want to be alerted of course uh, uh, the uh, the alert ha has been triggered because if we go up you can see that in fact we hit this level right here and if you notice uh, when we hit this level right here we have a very interesting signal of rejection so we could have shorted right here for a 20 pip win and uh, afterwards you can see that we break with this level and uh, we test it back as support and of course we would have made a 30 pip winner right here out of the 50 minute chart and of course uh we uh we are i'm just going to uh delete this one and uh, i'm going to create the support um, well right now it doesn't matter if I create uh, the the bottom one because we already know that we went up but uh, let's imagine that the day, this day has not uh, yet uh, finished or this week has not yet finished and price uh, and we are uh, and we are still trading it okay uh, what we can do right now is just create an alert uh, uh, for uh, to be triggered when price hits this massive uh, base area which is previous resistance and uh, was tested as support and of course uh, you can do that with all of your charts um, before you start your trading session so you can actually uh, be alerted anytime price hits a key level or a hotspot